for job interviews this is the second uh, video in a series of videos that I'm doing looking at the issue of speaking English for a job interview when you are not uh, a native speaker I'm going to to start to look at the core of the interview in this video so firstly let's look at questions about you your personal profile let's hear some sample questions that are often used at the start by the interviewing panel one tell us something about yourself two how would you introduce yourself or three, can you talk about yourself? Now all three questions are open questions and let the candidate choose what they want to hear. Now, but there are some typical facts that the interviewer is wanting to hear. Let's look at the facts that are usually wanted. Now full sentences must be used so it is clear that your English speaking skills must be very good. So no short answers please. Many of you may have become used to short answers but this is often because the teacher you have wasn't that good at English speaking using sentences. So the first one A your full name question what is your name an example of the answer my name is John Graham Vickery I'm going to use myself as examples of the answers in this segment B where you are from including town country and possibly state or country question where are you from example I am from Guildford a small town near London in England you must focus on your birthplace here not where you are living C where are you living now example I am living in Satahip in the southeast of Thailand. Let's move on to D. Your marital status and if you have children or not. And include the number of children. Question. What's your marital status? Example A. I am divorced with no children. Example B, I am married with two children. You can also use single and separated as an appropriate answer to this question. Move on to E. Brief summary of your qualifications that are relevant to work. It is not necessary to comment on your school qualifications at uh, high school unless specifically needed for the job applied for. If you are currently studying it will be useful to describe the nature of that qualification that you are seeking. Question. Can you tell me your qualifications please? Example answer A. I have a Bachelor of Science in Philosophy and Politics. I graduated from the University of Bristol in 2010. Example B, I have a master's degree in economics. Example C, I am currently studying for a PhD in law. Note that uh, it is useful to say where you obtained your degree, but not always final question in this segment F in addition it may be helpful to describe any other qualifications that are directly relevant to the job that you applied for 
example for a teacher we would answer I have a TESOL certificate that I obtained in 2016 finally state specific knowledge and experience that you learned in, in, in obtaining the qualification an example my qualifications include a research project in geological surveys okay so those are the first set of sample questions and sample answers in the part of the interview looking at your personal profile in the next video we're going to be looking at amongst other things uh, your interests uh, your strengths and weaknesses as a person okay that concludes the second interview